Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Toddzilla with Joe's Auto War Clan. We are in the middle of a war against this Vikings clan. They do have a pretty decent win rate, but uh, you can see I'm number nine here. We're going to do a live attack tutorial here. Um, again, using the Zilla method, uh, Gova Queen Walk, I guess is what you want to call it. So, first of all, let's take a peek at what I got for uh, an army here. So, we're going to run. It looks like I'm. A little short so I just want to double check this base a lot of times I fluctuate in between using four archers or two minions um, this particular base I might end up using uh, a few minions kind of over in this range to take out some of this stuff on the side and uh, not have to worry about it they do a little bit more damage than the archer but uh, I'll make two of those little guys and we'll go take a peek at that base real quick. So I got the nine Valkyries, four healers, seven wizards, two golems, and then in the CC, three more Valkyries, a wizard, and an archer, and then two jumps, and two heals, and two poisons. So that's the general uh, attack troop composition that I use, and in doing so, like any queen walk, um, you're gonna use your healers on the queen. So. With this particular method, I'm using two jumps and two heals. Those are strictly for my kill squad. So my kill squad is going to be those two golems, um, all those Valkyries, and those wizards. And usually I only use like a couple wizards on my funnel. And uh, that helps me save them for later on if I need to kind of take out some stuff or clean up um, in a hurry, I guess, if I kind of screw up on the, the kill squad portion. So... Uh, with that being said, typically your kill squad wants to come into the core and take out that archer queen all in the same motion. So very obvious point of attack is to try to get into this little area. And then one of my two jump spells I'm going to place right in between these two buildings, the air defense and that mortar. And that jump is going to allow me to escape from that, get into this section, get into that section, and get into the core where I can then take out these two crossbows and the two high hit point uh, buildings in there. Um, more than likely two Teslas in there and then two Teslas sitting in this little uh, dead space here by the air sweeper. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm first going to probably put my queen down at a 90 degree angle from where my kill squad wants to go in. So my kill squad wants to go in here. I wanna send in my queen at 90 degrees. I could send her down this way or I could send her around the top. The top's a little bit more of a straight line and uh, you can see they get kind of pushed out here. I don't want my Archer Queen necessarily getting pushed out too far, so I'm probably gonna throw my Queen, you know, right on this Dark Spell Factory, and then try to have her push down here and take out all of these little guys along the way. Um, air Defense is in far enough that I don't have to worry about my healers getting focused. Um, so my queen's going to walk down that side and I'm going to throw a golem in between these two buildings knowing it's going to path into this cannon after I put down my uh, archer queen with those four healers. Put down that golem there and I'm going to put one in between these two buildings. Ideally, it's just going to path right into here, but I believe it'll probably path to this archer tower. Um, either way, it doesn't necessarily necessarily matter for this particular attack. I'm likely going to throw down a minion or two over in this range. Um, this air defense will probably kill them, so I'll probably throw down a minion there. And um, basically, that's going to set my edge on this side, and when my golems kind of go in here or here, um, all the aggro, this will probably be on my queen. No big deal there. She's going to be healed. Um, I'll have this cannon, possibly this uh, wizard tower beating on a golem as well. And then this will be focused in uh, regardless of where my golems go. So those things will all be attacking um, my golems. So I don't have to worry about my wizards necessarily taking any aggro from any of these damage dealing units. And um, with that... I'm going to try to set an edge over here with a minion, and then my Archer Queen is going to try. I want her to walk down there, so I don't want her coming this direction. Once I throw down that Golem, I'm probably going to throw a Wizard right on this Dark Elixir Drill. And I'm going to place him in a fashion, not up here by this little uh, down sign. I'm going to place him 
right in between this corner so it takes out that dark elixir drill and this barracks um, next. I uh, don't want them to kind of run out the outside either so I'm going to place one there and then knowing full well that that's going to be distracted I'll probably place one wizard here to try to funnel them into that and then a second wizard on that dark elixir storage and then at that point I'm probably going to throw down my fourth wizard and second on this side on the inside portion of this barrack so it will go right into these. At that point I'm going to throw down my uh, Barb King on that Builder's Hut, release all my Valkyries, knowing at that point pretty much everything is going to be done um, uh, as far as a funnel. This particular thing might not be done, so if I get them all over here, there is a chance that they're going to funnel down there. If they do, not that big of a deal. I can certainly throw a jump spell on top of this Archer Queen to get into the base, into the core. And hopefully my Valks don't just run around the outside there. They should hopefully go in there. Um, if they don't come down to this Archer Tower, because that probably won't be dead yet for my funnel. I could definitely slow play it if I wanted to. Um, good chance if a Golem goes down there, it will pull the CC. So I have to be a little bit careful of that. But uh, basically, once that happens, if I get here or if I get into this core, which would be fantastic, um, what I'm going to do when I release my Valks, I don't have any wall breakers, as you saw. I'm going to use my Valks as a wall breaker to bust through this first set of walls. They're going to clean out everything in here if that's where they go. Um, otherwise, that jump spell is going to go down there, and they're probably going to work you know, a little bit different path there. If that's the case, I'm going to have to improvise this attack a little bit, but hopefully my queen will be, you know, well on their way down there. But um, ideally it's going to come in here. I'm going to throw a jump spell in between uh, those two buildings, get into this core, and then probably throw um, a jump spell to get out of there, probably right on that uh, particular wall, and then I'll just jump out of here and take out uh, these buildings. And hopefully go down and take out those. We'll see. Maybe I'll throw the jump spell right on this air sweeper so they kind of focus down here. Because my, my archer queen is going to work this whole area up here. I don't necessarily need my Valkyries to come up here to take those out. Because then they might start focusing in on that. Trying to beat through walls. Um, we'll see. But that's going to be the general attack strategy. Um, let's see if we can get three stars. Number nine, bumping up. And uh, obviously I have those two poisons. So if my golem po uh, pulls them out over here, I'm going to throw my two poisons down there. Probably throw a, a fifth wizard down maybe on this elixir storage to help uh, taking those things out. Sad thing is that Archer Queen will be beating on my uh, golem. So when I release these Valkyries, they may very well just path right down into this uh, Archer Queen. That will be something uh, to be aware of I guess this attack but if I throw my goal in between here and it just wants to go to this air sweeper um, Archer Queen might be in range there and my Valks will just plow through this and probably try to get to her right away so I have to be cognizant of that first jump so with that being said I need to back out to collect those two minions and there we go thing is full let's go back in here and get an attack done on this number three I'm probably going to bump the volume up a little bit here, so hopefully it doesn't distract too much from the video. I just need to hear when that uh, clan castle gets pulled there. So let's do our attack here. And uh, just for reference, minion over here. I'm going to start my queen walk, hopefully walk her down there. Golem in between there, golem in between there. Wizard there, wizard there, and a wizard on there. <coughs> That's the general strategy. So... With that being said, good thing I looked. I need to get my queen. That's a vital part of the queen walk. So let's uh, say finish now. Thank you very much um, for taking 52 of my gems away. And let's get this attack underway. Level 14 queen. And uh, let's see what we can do. Attack. Looks like we got everything now. So I'm probably going to throw this minion down first, and I want him to path kind of down. And then we'll do this archer queen over here. And one, two, three, four healers. Golem. Golem. They did path right in, which is good for me. And uh, let's get these wizards down. Try to get the funnel started with those guys. There they go. Throw my barb king down. And here come the CC Valks. 
And here comes everything else. You're hopefully gonna bust through that wall. There's the poisons. There's another poison. Probably gonna throw a heal down and there's a jump. Get my Valkyries in there. And uh, not only do those poisons kill that stuff, they also help uh, slow down the attacking of uh, the CC troops. So I'm gonna throw another jump down there, kind of keep those uh, Valkyries alive with that heal, knowing that uh, most likely those are uh, those Teslas down there. Got one more uh, minion and some other cleanup troops there. Plenty of uh, Valkyries still kind of flying around there. Golems doing well, and uh, my Queen Walk is certainly doing its job up there on the corner. Um, I will have to come back around to this edge, though, with all my cleanup troops, so with that being said, I'm going to start helping uh, clean up with these wizards. Uh, golems are going to go over here and uh, help try to take out that thing. So, oop, release that wizard a little too soon, unfortunately. Use my Barb King ability there. And knowing that that little guy's locked on over there, hopefully I don't run into a giant bomb. But um, I should have an easy, easy three star here. And we'll just throw in this little guy for good measure. And uh, everything is going to kind of come around the left there. Got stuff taken out that cannon. Good job, wizard. And now everything's kind of converging. And uh, this base does not stand a chance. Not going to get a speed run here. Queen walks are rather kind of slow. So we're going to see that. And then it's going to take a little bit of walls uh, from the archer queen. That's one of her favorite things to do. So she's going to do her thing with this wall. Look at that. She's going to try to break through. We'll use her little ability to get through a little bit quicker. And uh, that wizard is trying to take it out before she can get there and does so. So there you go. Three star attack using the Govaho method or excuse me, the Zilla Gova Queen Walk method. Let's do a little bit of a replay just to <coughs> kind of showcase what the base looked like now that you understand what the strategy was. Uh, my golem did actually go right into this and did not focus on the uh, archer tower, which... It would have been a lot different attack had he gone down there um, as it was. Uh, you saw me use my CC Valkyries to get in there and kind of take that out and then release all nine of my other Valkyries. You saw him try to take out that wall. So let's take a little bit of a replay and just kind of do a times two. There's the minion. Queen walk up there. Golem, golem. And uh, I can't stress enough the importance of a well-placed funnel. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing there, but... Um, as you've probably seen in uh, one of my prior videos about what mistakes not to make at Town Hall 9, one of them is funnel. You'll see a lot of people, like with all these out here, they'll just lay, lay down like 10 wizards right along this whole line. And that really doesn't help your wizards necessarily funnel into the center. All it does is take out everything kind of at the same time and then they just go to the next closest building, which may be anywhere along this whole map. Um, the way I placed it, I put one on the outside, one on the outside, knowing full well <coughs> the wizard's probably going to go over here because the archer queen was taking that out. This is a lower hit point building, so I knew this wizard on the outside was going to path over here um, instead of over here, because that's why I put that minion down first to take that out quick, and uh, hopefully my wizard wouldn't go that direction and kind of lose its DPS right away to this cannon. So that's the strategy. And then once those are almost down, you can place another wizard kind of on this next inside building. And uh, you'll set up a nice funnel with just these two buildings left. And then you know right where your troops are going to go. I knew uh, that was going to play a factor. So that's why I released my CC. You'll see here. Um, excellent funnel set up there. Everything's down. Wizards are going right into the center. And... At this point, I put down my Barb King to help take out some stuff. I want to get that Dark Elixir uh, storage done. There's the three Valks, and guess what? They're kind of getting attacked by that Archer Queen. They bust through the wall, and there's a Poison that's going to slow down all the attack speed, all the movement speed, and it's going to damage everything. So that's basically doing what it needs to do with their CC troops. A lot of people get nervous, like, holy smokes, you only use four wizards. How are you going to take out a CC dragon? Well, you just saw a couple wizards there, one from my uh, 
uh, CC actually took out that dragon. You don't you don't need that many wizards. You don't need that many uh, air shooting units in order to take out a dragon with those poisons placed properly and with a proper funnel. So keep that in mind. I know a lot of people get nervous about the double balloon uh, dragon combo in there. So uh, just keep that in mind. You can take those out with a very well placed funnel like I did there. And uh, that's kind of how I do all of my funnels. You save on troops. A lot of people, like, you don't need 10 or 12 wizards there to take out that line. Just four of them works just fine. And then you can use a lot of uh, other troop space to take out some of those buildings. So I use a lot of other troop space uh, for my Valkyries. And that works very well. You saw tons of Valkyries left um, on this particular attack. So uh, with that being said... That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the live tutorial version video and uh, hope you learned something as well from these. If so, please give this a subscribe down in the bottom right. You see that button there. Uh, if you're on your computer, please click it. If not, uh, back out, search for Joe's Auto War Clan and uh, look for us and subscribe to the video. And uh, if you like these live attack videos, certainly let us know in the comments. Um, we're looking for new, new ideas. If you see our videos and you like them and they're helping you, also send a comment. I'll come into your clan if you use one of our attacks or you say, hey, I really learned some stuff from your video. I did a Govaho attack using your strategies and I got three stars. I will come over to your clan. I will make a video and... Uh, Make a video of that three-star attack for you and post it on here. I do have one fan video already up from a Reddit clan member. So um, give us ideas. Send us a comment what videos you like, what videos you don't like. And uh, that will certainly help us produce a little bit better content for you in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Zilla Method, go to Queen Walk. And there you have it. Two jumps, two heals. Get through that base. Keep those Valks alive, keep those Golems alive, keep your Barb King alive, get three stars, collect loot, enjoy the game, win wars, subscribe, thanks, peace out.